Hey everyone, I'm Walker. Welcome back to All About Nails. Today we're going to be doing a paint your nails with me and I am going to be using the lovely Zoya's Jana. This is a really pretty like neutral mauve color. It's I think it's like gray and mauve and it definitely leans on the like purple side of mauve and not on the pink side of mauve. So I really like Zoya has a couple shades here like in this category and I really like these ones. So I'm gonna do Jana today. On my nails I have my base coat and I did a little bit of filing to just make them a little more even and I'm just gonna dive right in. If you've been following my Paint Your Nails With Me videos for the last couple weeks as a part of Nail Miss and Vlogmas, I've been recapping some of the Topic Tuesday posts that I didn't do this year. And so today is our third week and so we are in the month of March. And so we're going to talk about some March topics. The first topic in March was your wish list or your lemming list. And I had to think when I was thinking about what I was going to talk about for this video, I had to think about this one a little bit because I don't know that I have a ton of individual polishes on my lemming list. I do have a couple brands that I really want to try at some point in the future. So one of them that I really wanted to try was Palette Polish. I did pick Palette Polish up in their Black Friday sale, so I have gotten to try some of their polishes, and I'll be doing a review, probably honestly not till January, um, just because Nail Miss is pretty tight. But I did get to try Palette Polish, and so that's exciting. I had those on my list for a while. Um, one of the other brands that's on my wish list is um, was Society Wit, and I picked up Society Wit in their Black Friday sale, so I feel like I got to check a lot off, <laughs> which is great. Um, one of the collections that I really want is the Wilds of Arizona collection, both parts, <laughs> from uh, Rogue Lacquer. I keep seeing it and thinking it's gorgeous and just not being able to justify picking it up for whatever reason, and so I think they're still going to be on my wish list for a while. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have specific polishes on my wish list. Um, I, I don't know. If you have specific polishes on your wish list, I'd love to hear what they are. I... Maybe it'll give me some inspiration for what to add to mine. All right, the next topic is the favorite collection you own or you want to own. I definitely think Zoya's Entice and Ignite collection, that was my favorite. That one has just like so many iconic fall polishes. It has those polishes that are like really glittery and have the like gold flecks in them for fall, like Autumn and India and Tegan, just these like absolutely stunning polishes. The finishes in that collection were so pretty. So I think that's one of my favorite collections that I own. I don't actually think I own 100% of it. I might own like all but one or something, but the ones that I own are beautiful. All right, the next question is first indie that you purchased. And, uh, oh man, this one's kind of hard. I think, so I kind of classify polishes into three groups in, or four groups in my head. There's like drugstore, like you buy it at CVS or you buy it at Walgreens or something. And then there's mainstream, like Zoya and Orly, like the big ones. All right, so then I say that there's indie, which are like hand mixed in somebody's home, you know, like indie. And then there's like boutique, like Kale Polish is like boutique. Like it's smaller than a mainstream, but it's not like hand mixed by Kathleen, which is totally fine. I have no problem buying boutique polishes. But I think I'm saying that because technically I would say that Kale Polish was my first like non-mainstream purchase, um, but it's not really an indie. So I think my first like actual indie purchase was probably, I got like the pink glitter in a D-stash sale one day from Girly Bits Cosmetics. And I don't know why I bought that polish. It was kind of at the beginning of my adventure into polish period. And I just kind of found it and was like, oh, this company's vegan, I'm gonna get it. I have no idea why I bought it. It's like not my style at all. And so I actually gave it to my sister so I don't have it anymore. I think the first indie brand that I bought and I still own is from Quixotic Polish. Um, they make some absolutely stunning polishes and all kinds of different finishes and they are vegan. So I'd say that's my first indie that I still have. All right, and then this last question from March is like a little bit of a gimme. It is, what brand would you choose if you could only choose one? And um, I think I would choose Zoya. I just feel like Zoya has like something for everyone. And so I would, I would choose Zoya. Um, yeah, that feels like a gimme, like an easy question. But I feel like there were some interesting answers to this question when people started answering it. So 
who knows, maybe other people are more interesting than I am. Um, okay, cool, so those are all of the March topics. And I really have had fun like redoing some of these Topic Tuesday questions. I don't know if I'll be able to in the new year like actually do them when they come out, but I think they're interesting and I really like watching other people's Topic Tuesday videos. I think they're really fun. So we're, I think like a, about halfway through Nail Miss when this video goes up and that's pretty exciting. I'm kind of amazed that I've made it this far and that you've made it this far. We're so close to the end, um, but it's pretty, it's been a fun month. I feel like I've really gotten to engage so much more with so many of my subscribers. There are some new folks here, so if you're new here, welcome. I'm happy to have you. And it's been pretty cool. I feel like I've learned a lot. All right, I'm gonna do my thumb off camera because it's real hard. All right, so that's two coats. I'm gonna do my top coat of the Glossy Seal from Naked Manicure System. I had a really fun time doing the giveaway that I did the first week of Nail Miss, and I think I'm definitely gonna try and do giveaways more often. I found it was so fun to get to meet new people, to get to celebrate, you know, some of the folks who've been following my channel for a long time, I mean, long time I just started in May but since I started it's really cool and it was really fun to do a giveaway with a bunch of other people it felt like there was so much joy getting spread around it was really nice I really liked it so nail miss so far has been so fun it's been a blast um, up to come are a couple more videos that kind of feature some of my Black Friday hauls so I got some new brands and I really want to feature those new brands on my channel so that's coming up pretty soon. Um, the other thing coming up are some like favorites lists like we're going into the holidays so I'm going to do some favorite holiday polishes and then some favorite winter polishes. So I have some favorites lists coming up. Those videos are always really fun to do. It's really fun to pull out polishes that I maybe haven't worn yet because we're not like into that season, but it gets me excited <laughs> for that season. So that's really fun. What are you doing for the holidays? Um, I know some of us celebrate holidays next week. Some of us celebrate holidays that have already started or are maybe even already over. So let me know what you're working on. I would love to hear what your holiday plans are. All right, that was um, two coats of Jana and one coat of the Glossy Seal. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you like this video and you wanna see more more videos like it then hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up it really helps me to know what kind of videos my subscribers like so that I can keep making them awesome have a great holiday and I will see you so soon